So in this section of the video, we are going to be installing Docker for Windows. Now, with Windows, there are two different possibilities that you can do. One is in download Docker desktop for Windows, which is a graphical user interface that allows you to run it. Or you can also install it via WSL, which is Windows for Subsystem Linux that allows you to actually run a distro of one, like so one two in your virtually uh, inside of your Windows uh, system. Because uh, with Windows 10, uh, like, you know, there is native support for being able to actually run Linux within the kernel, within, within the Windows kernel. So the first example that we will see is actually installing uh, the Docker desktop for Windows. So we'll go ahead and uh, install this. Uh, it will just take some amount of time to install the executable file. And we'll just wait for that to complete. And uh, then we'll be able to successfully follow all the different steps that are required. And uh, we should be able to go ahead and uh, install this successfully and then run our uh, Docker files. So we'll go ahead and run this now. So we we'll just open it up and see it in action. So we're just opening the installer right now. So once the installer opens, we should be able to go ahead and uh, successfully install our Docker desktop on our system. So this takes a small time. We'll go ahead and uh, install this for our windows machine we'll just open the installer now should open up anytime we'll just wait for it to install okay, so you can see here we have the installing docker desktop so it is verifying the package and then we just follow along the steps to complete this process as you can see like it's currently verifying the package and there you go so we have installed it and as you can see like the configuration also shows that we can use WSL2 as well in order to run Docker. So now it's just unpacking all the files. And once it's done, we should be able to install Docker desktop. So we'll just wait for all the files to unpack. Once the setup has been done, we can see now that Docker desktop has been installed. If you don't want to use the Docker desktop, the other way of uh, being able to actually configure or like, you know, go ahead and use this with the help of WSL, which is Windows for Subsystem Linux. So here you can see like uh, we have successfully been able to install and Docker is actually running right now. Apart from the Docker desktop, if I just type Docker command, you can see that now it's installed in my system. And another way to also like, you know, if you don't want to install it, let's say w, uh, uh, the Docker desktop, another way is also to use the WSL, which is Windows for Subsystem Linux. You can like, you know, install Docker uh, specifically on WSL itself and uh, use it. So the tutorial for that you can find. So I'll just open up Chrome and I will quickly go specifically to uh, the installation of Docker uh, with WSL. In that case, you wouldn't require specifically to actually run Docker containers on top of that. So we can simply just like, you know, have a WSL uh, installed and have Windows. So of course, one way is uh, to install like the Docker desktop. And of course, the other way is to uh, like, you know, directly develop in uh, the VS Code remote containers. Uh, so this is also a great way to be able to directly just use uh, WSL. So this is the entire guide and setup for Docker.